On this week's episode, Flavor City is in sunny, or not so sunny, LA. We're gonna check out what California cuisine's really about. Soak up the local flavors, find some sun, find some fun. But first, we gotta hit the waves, do some surfing, and then we can get down to some food. Later, dudes. for the season, Hawaii, Australia, it's all good. Woo. To get a better idea of the flavors of California, we sought out the locals, and what better place than the beach. A lot of it has uh, to come from Mexico, like a lot of uh, carne asada tacos. We like the uh, Hawaiian food also. It's kind of never defined, is it? Like in LA, you've got Chinatown and Little Tokyo, and you know you can get the authentic cuisine. You don't have to go that far away. And what are the flavors of LA for you? Salt water, algae, plastic bottle out there. Pretty bitchy. All right guys, the sushi is incredibly fresh here and it's making me think that seafood has to be a part of our LA inspired menu back in Chicago. Yeah, it's a go. So the time has come to go back to Chicago and leave sunny LA. We definitely have some really good ideas in mind. The seafood and the Asian is out of this world and I have some recipes floating around my mind. So, regrettably, we have to leave the surf, the sand, the fun behind, head back to the kitchens in Chicago and dream up an LA-inspired meal. Let's do it. I even had time to check out the lounge, thanks to one of the many perks of my credit card. We're back in the Windy City and I've been California dreaming up our LA-inspired menu using two of the flavors that were predominant on our trip, Asian and seafood. And that's why I came up with our miso marinated cod with braised bok choy and coconut cashew jasmine rice. California cuisine epitomized. Let's get started. We have to make the marinade for the cod. So to do that, let's use about a quarter of a cup of sake. I'm using uh, unfiltered sake, but you can use whatever you want. And to that, I'm gonna add mirin, a quarter of a cup also. Now mirin is a Japanese rice wine that's been sweetened. All we have to do is bring this to a simmer and then add about a third of a cup of sugar and a half a cup of white miso paste, which is just fermented soybean paste. And that's gonna give it that really good Asian flavor. Once the sugar and miso paste have dissolved, take it off the heat and bring it down to room temperature. In the meantime, let's peel some ginger to finish off that marinade. Let's use that old back of the spoon trick here. Then take our cool down marinade here. Let's grate in maybe like a teaspoon of this fresh ginger. It's really gonna wake up the flavor, give it some brightness and a little bit of kick. Now that the marinade is infused with our ginger, we can put it on the side and talk about our star ingredient of our dish, this cod. Now look how beautiful. This is wild caught Pacific cod, incredibly buttery, tender, flaky. And once we marinate it with this miso, off the hook, it's gonna be like we're back in uh, LA on the beaches. So in a bowl here, let's put our two pieces of fillets and add our cooled down miso marinade. Now here's the hard part, I'm not gonna lie. This has to go in the fridge for two days. I know, I know, two days, who has time? But listen, these flavors need time to penetrate the fish and make it really, really flavorful. Let's move on to our coconut cashew jasmine rice. Now this is a really great side dish. It's crunchy, it's sweet, and to start, Let's put a little bit of a vegetable oil, and then to that add half a red onion that's finely diced, and two cloves of garlic. Get in the hot pan there. And as always, let's add a little pinch of kosher salt to that. So we're gonna cook that for two to three minutes until it kind of sweats and gets a little soft. Let's add some of that ginger we have left over from before. I'm gonna grate about a tablespoon in there. Now let's add one cup of rinsed jasmine rice. Now I rinsed it because I want that starch, that extra starch layer off there so it doesn't make our rice too thick. 
and I always cook my rice for a couple minutes. That way, the heat kind of sets the starch in there and it cooks more evenly. You get a nice, consistent rice grain. And then I'm gonna add one can of light coconut milk. That's gonna give it that real tropical Asian flavor. And to that, I'm gonna add just about a third of a cup of water. Give that a stir up and bring it to a boil and reduce it to a simmer. Put the lid on, set your timer for about 20, 25 minutes. We'll have fluffy, crunchy jasmine rice. While the rice is cooking, we can move on to our braised bok choy. These guys are gonna get tender, infused with lots of flavor, and go great with our fish and rice. So all we have to do to start is cut them in half. And I'm really excited about the Asian theme of our meal because the Asian food in LA really blew me away and the quality of it. The quality of the seafood was so good. So in this cast iron pan here, we're gonna put about a cup of low sodium chicken stock. To that, we're gonna add a shot of soy sauce, some toasted sesame seed, a teaspoon of brown sugar. Now we're gonna bring this to a simmer and then add our nice halved pieces of bok choy here. I like to put them face side down. This is gonna take about five to seven minutes with a lid on top. While the rice is cooking, we can move on to our main ingredient, the fish. Now, I'm not gonna make you wait 48 hours because we might get kind of bored, so I had this guy in the fridge marinating a couple days ago. And look at that fish take on the color of the marinade, so you know that miso paste and that mira and that sake has penetrated all the way through to that meat, and it's gonna literally fall apart in our mouth. So I have a pan preheating with about a tablespoon of vegetable oil over a high heat, because we wanna sear this and get a nice crust on that. Exactly the sound we wanna hear. Say three minutes on this side, then we'll flip it, we have nice sear marks, and we can move on. To finish off our rice, we have to add a few more ingredients. About a quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. It's gonna add a nice crunch. And then check this out. We toasted some cashews, and that brought out the flavor. We'll put some more on later for garnish. And let's chop up uh, a few green onions here, give it some color. And man, if this rice tastes anywhere as good as it looks, you're gonna be a happy guy. And then always fluff your rice with a fork. If you use anything else, you're gonna smush the rice grains. It's gonna get all mushy. And oh man, oh, I'm getting some aromatherapy here. The bok choy has just finished braising and as you can see, it's still fork tender. That's how we know it's perfect. The time has come to plate this dish and I cannot wait any longer. Let's get a nice scoop of this coconut cashew rice on here. Oh, the colors in this are outrageous. A little bit of that perfectly braised bok choy we worked so hard on. That nice sesame oil in there. Soy sauce, get those Asian flavors in there. Fantastic. And then let's put our perfectly seared cod right on top of there. Beauty. And what can make it better, but only a little more garnish. So we got some green onions right here, some more of our toasted cashews, and a little bit of our coconut flake. There it is. That is one beautiful, sexy dish. That fish is literally melting in my mouth, and the rice has the sweetness, and that crunch from the bok choy is a real nice contrast of texture. Mmm, this is dynamite. Well, that's it for our LA-inspired menu, and I'll admit it, my cooking is just a little bit better than my serving. Just a little. For this recipe, go to flavcity.com, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And we'll see you next time on another episode of Flavor City when we check out a new city, get inspired by the flavors, and bring them back to our kitchens in Chicago. See ya.